Storm Wolf here, and if you've been keeping up with some of the live streams that I've been doing here on YouTube and on Twitch, you notice that I've been playing a lot of Fallout 4 recently, and I figured since I've been playing the game a lot, I wanted to go ahead and showcase a couple of mods that I will be using within that mod list. Now, people may be asking, oh, what's your entire mod list for Fallout 4? And I do have a paste bin down below that will show everything that I'm doing with that playthrough. There are a bunch of different mixed collections using Vortex, which is what I would recommend for Fallout 4 if you're not going to be using Wabajack. But nonetheless, you can check out some of those mods down below. The full list will be in the description in a, I believe, paste bin. So if you're looking for something in particular, I would check there first. And if you can't find it, let me know in the comments down below. So again, this video is just to showcase a couple of Fallout 4 mods that I'll be playing with within that playthrough. I know I used to cover Fallout 4 back in the day, um, but I didn't really like the game as much as I do now. I've been playing it more frequently, and I've really grown to enjoy the game for what it is rather than trying to compare it to other Fallout games. So it has its own charms, and it does things that are really well done within Fallout 4. Although not perfect, uh, still an enjoyable game. But nonetheless, hopefully you guys enjoy the mod video. I'll probably do more videos like this uh, in the future, just kind of like showcase a couple of mods with Fallout 4 as I'm playing through it on my streams. And if you want to check that out, either subscribe to the channel here, or if you want, you can check out my Twitch in the description down below, whichever platform you feel is best for you. So go ahead and ch chill and hang out with us. I stream every Tuesday and Thursday starting around 7.30, 8 p.m. Central Standard Time. So hopefully I can see you there. In any case, enjoy the video. So the first mod I wanted to show off is the Talos Exosuit Redux. Now essentially this is a power armor alternative to where if you're familiar with games like Titanfall you have something called an exosuit which kind of acts as the enhancer of the body as you will. Now there's three variations of this exosuit. One of them is the frame one that you're seeing right now which is kind of a skeleton of the exosuit. The next one coming up is more of an armored version where you'll have armored chest pieces, arms, and legs. I like this version a little bit better because it seems like it's a little bit more sturdier, right? Like it seems like this is what you would probably wear for more protection. And then the last one that we're going to be showcasing is a environmental suit, which is sort of like a mix between power armor and a environmental suit. So you still have the protection against radiation. It still looks like a, a environmental suit, but you still have some of the same benefits as having power armor. This means that your carry weight is going to increase, your defense is going to increase and things like that. Um, overall, I like this mod and I like the way that it looks because, to be honest, I'm not a fan of the way that the Fallout 4 armor, power armor looks. Um, it's just a little too bulky for my taste, so this one kind of fits a little bit more of my aesthetic, which is a little bit more slim, a little bit more sleek, and generally I enjoy it overall. In terms of gameplay, you can modify each suit using any armor bench. So if you take any of the exo suits over to an armor bench, you'll notice that you'll have a couple of new modifications for your torsos, your legs, arms, etc. There's also a new option called the jump upgrade. Now this allows you to alter your jump for a five times, 1.5 or two times jump. Now typically this isn't gonna be very useful within fall as there's not a lot of verticality in regards to where you can go and jump and access new areas, but it is pretty fun to play with. I would probably say for most users, Probably the 1.5 or maybe the 2.5 is more than enough. Uh, what I'm demonstrating right now is the times dog. five jump height. It's cool, it's fun to play with, but again, unless you're using certain mods that require verticality, probably wanna stick around the 1.5 or the 2.5. And this is also available for all of the exosuits, not just the exo frame. So the next mod I wanna showcase is a weapon mod called the PKM Heavy Machine Gun. Now, this mod needs no introduction if you're familiar with firearms. A lot of media from movies to video games, stuff like that, has shown this gun. It's a very popular heavy machine gun that has been introduced into Fallout 4. And I gotta say, with the limited testing that I did, it actually feels really well to play with. Um, the recoil is what you expect from a heavy machine gun, especially with the iron sight. But nevertheless, it's actually pretty comfortable to use and shoot it within the game. There are plenty of modifications, uh, such as the ability to change ammo types, scopes, stocks, things like that. You can even change the bipod, though unfortunately because this game doesn't have a prone feature, unless you use a certain mod, which I couldn't get to work correctly. Um, it really just helps with uh, your accuracy when you're crouching, although it's purely for aesthetics and more so than actually being able to be prone and use it. But Nevertheless, uh, the gun is actually pretty fun. I like it a lot, and I think it has really cool animation, especially reload animation. It takes as long as you would think to reload a machine gun belt. Um, yeah, I had trouble with that in VR, but we're not going to talk about that. We're not going to show that clip, because I don't even know if I still have that clip. But nevertheless, this gun's a lot of fun, and if you're into the more modern weapons for Fallout 4, I highly recommend you check out the PKM. 
And finally, the last mod we're going to be taking a look at today is the West Tech Tactical Optics. This is a collection of goggles that allow you to use night vision, thermal, and vision sense within the game. There are many designs for these goggles, ranging from the set that you might see in Splinter Cell, all the way up to Metal Gear Solid 4 Solid Eye. In order to craft these items, you need to find the West Tech Tactical Optic Schematics, which are on the screen. You can find them over by the Met Tech Research Center underneath the receptions desk. Once you have the blueprints, you should be able to find the schematics underneath the chem station under utility. However, if you're using the Armor and Weapon Keywords Community Resource, or AWKCR, then you can find them on the AWKCR Crafting Bench under Accessories, Cybertech. With version 2.0 of the mod comes the ability to add on a new attachment called the Multivision. Now what the Multivision allows you to do is to toggle between the thermal, the night vision, and the targeting reticles on the fly with the press of a button. This does however require you to have the Fallout 4 hotkeys mod installed. It's pretty simple and there's a video tutorial as well as a written tutorial on the mod page on how to get this to set up. The Multivision option is available for every one of the optics that's available within this mod. After you install the multivision attachment, all you have to do is press the hotkey in game while wearing the goggles. You just start out with night vision. Switch over to thermal. And finally, you'll go into vision, which you'll need to have an enemy on screen, and I'll demonstrate that here in a little bit. Along with the 2.0 update comes the ability to have the goggles switch onto your face from your forehead whenever you switch through one of the visions. Overall, this is a nice quality of life change and makes these mods really stand out as it's one of the few like functional mods for night vision that actually works as intended. You're not going to have the night vision goggles on your eyes if they're not active and it's one of these things that makes me want to keep this mod in my mod list for days to come. So I just wanted to quickly showcase this video to show a couple of mods that I'll be using whenever I do stream Fallout. If you want to catch those streams, I stream both on YouTube and on Twitch, both on Tuesdays and Thursdays. So if you happen to be around the channel or if you want to follow both channels, they'll be in the link in the description down below. I do greatly appreciate it. And as always, links will be in the description down below for these mods as well. Hopefully you guys enjoy. And if you want to see more stuff like this, uh, maybe a couple more mods in the future that I'm using for Fallout 4, maybe even for my Skyrim playthrough series, if you haven't been watching that, it is a pretty much a playthrough of numerous quest mods that I'll be going through with the character that I've built that's kind of like a Witcher-esque character so if that's something you're interested in there'll also be playlists down below or maybe somewhere on the screen uh, so far I've covered Vigilant I am in the middle of Glamoral and I've also covered a couple of shorter quests such as Maelstrom and Tales of Marissi so if you want to check out that stuff that'll also be in the link in the description down below as uh, well as somewhere on the screen I'm not exactly sure where wherever YouTube decides to put it but Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video, and if you did, uh, please leave a like because it actually does help out with the YouTube algorithm. And yeah, I will catch you guys in the next video, or I'll catch you on a future stream. Take care.